if you always wanted to move to Canada when you already have a job or if you're already in Canada and are looking for an employer in Canada who is looking to hire international candidates, you want to stay to the very end of this video because guys, today I am going to be sharing with you a very interesting international recruitment event that is happening um, by Canadian employers who are looking to hire international candidates and the best part is that this international recruitment mission uh, by Canadian employers is going to be taking place both physically and virtually. You're going to get an opportunity to submit your um, CV or your Canadian uh, resume and then wait on employers to get back to you either for a physical interview or for a virtual interview. And I know one of the greatest issues we have had here on the channel is when people come to me and they're like, Eva, I keep submitting my um, application for jobs in Canada, but nobody gets back to me. So the very important part about this particular event is that the employers are the ones who are going to be contacting you as long as you have submitted your profile. And the best part is that submitting your profile for that for this international recruitment event in Canada is free of charge. You do not have to pay anything. You don't have to go through any agents. Everything is happening online and you can submit everything even just using your phone. You do not have to have um, a computer or a laptop. So for this particular international recruitment event, it is targeting people in the healthcare sectors, but I have seen it is not just nurses or doctors, but it's a whole, whole range of events and also, sorry, of sectors. They even have trade, they have different, different, though it's targeting people in the healthcare. So guys, this international recruitment event in Canada is being held by the province of Prince Edward Island. So if you have been on the channel long enough, you know that Prince, Prince Edward Island is situated on the east coast of Canada and it is one of the four Atlantic provinces. So guys, if you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Eva Mutali and I'm here. We talk mostly about travel. We talk about relocation. We talk about jobs abroad and how you can get these jobs even um, without having to pay a coin or without having to go through an agent. So if any of those topics sound exciting to you, you want to make sure you are subscribed to this channel and make sure to hit the notification bell so that every time I shoot a new video, you do not miss out. And guys, guess what? All these things are free. So why don't we just go ahead and give this video a like because definitely I'm going to be sharing gems. That's what Ibam Tali does. I only share opportunities that I myself would take them up. So guys, um, without much further ado, we are going to go straight to business. And as usual, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to go through the process, how to submit your application and everything. So step number one, Eva, what websites are we looking at? We are looking at the government of Prince Edward Island website, which obviously means it is legit. How are you going to know that? PrinceEdwardIsland.ca. So let's just head behind the scenes on my computer and let's look at this recruitment event. So guys, right here, this is where we are at, PrinceEdwardIsland.ca, um, international recruitment events. And guys, I will show you exactly how we get to this website. So you can see right here, they've had several recruitment events in 2023, but this particular one is going to be happening in February 2024. And you can see right here, it shows international recruitment mission, healthcare, but hang on, even if you're not in the healthcare sector, guys, because it covers more than that. And then location shows Dubai. Again, hang on, even if you are not um, in Dubai, because this event is happening both virtually and physically in Dubai. So don't worry. So what you want to do is come and click on this link, sign up. Okay. So once you click on sign up, it's going to bring you to this page here. Yeah, you can see 2024 International Recruitment Dubai Candidate Registration. Please register and provide your resume or CV to be considered by um, employers that are hiring in Prince Edward Island. 
employers will connect with potential applicants to discuss job opportunities in person or virtually guys you saw that right it's happening both virtually and in person so don't come and start asking me either i am in mass can i apply it's very clearly written here employers will connect with potential applicants to discuss job opportunities in person or virtually so what are you waiting for register for free to be considered okay and you can see here it is free to submit a profile to express interest it is illegal to pay for a job offer there you have it so do not provide false information so what you want to do is just come here so you can see here please select the field of work you'd like to be considered for based on your experience or skills so you can see we have here healthcare under healthcare we have caregiver registered nurse doctor and other healthcare fields of work and then we have trades and construction that's why i told you guys hang on hang on even if you're not in the healthcare sector you can see they're looking for electricians mechanics carpenter plumber pipe fitter and steam fitter painter heating and cooling technician construction helper roofer other trade and construction field work and then under it we have web developer programmer cyber security analyst software engineer other it field of work and then we have hospitality housekeeper cooks other hospitality field of work we have the trucking industry um truck driver dispatcher held heavy duty mechanic other trucking manufacturing we have all those so you have to just come and enter so if let's say you're in manufacturing and you're not a machine operator you're not a manufacturing worker you're not a meat cutter just click on other and then it will ask you to specify yeah? if you're in uh, let's say trucking industry but you're not a truck driver you're not a dispatcher you're not a heavy duty mechanic just click on other and do that and that applies for even hospitality if you're not a housekeeper you're not a cook uh, just click on other if you're in it but you're not in one of those three just pick and it works for all of them so let's say for example i pick on caregiver you can see i'm gonna have to answer the question have you worked with seniors and the answer is either a yes i have worked with seniors or no i have not worked with seniors so guys those are just some of the things you're gonna have to um take care of so let's say i have worked with them i'll say yes and then they're gonna ask me how long in years so let's say it's seven years okay and then just scroll all the way down and then please provide your contact information a few moments later you can see i have provided my contact information make sure the email you provide is something you have access to so you can see there if i'm telling a gmail if i'm telling a gmail and then you're supposed to um upload your resume guys as usual make sure your your, your resume is in canadian style and right here on the channel guys I have shown you exactly how to do your Canadian style resume, what to include, what not to include. Make sure your resume is specifically targeted to the job for which you are applying for. Let's say I'm applying for a caregiver, like in this case, and I also have experience as an accountant, I have experience as a project manager. Guys, do not include those other um, experiences or professional certifications that are not related to the caregiving if let's say i'm applying as an electrician but i also have experience as what a nurse and as a doctor make sure the cv or your canadian style resume is targeted specifically for the occupation for which you want to apply for and um, let's say i have experience both in healthcare but also in it so you can see for this particular recruitment event the main target is healthcare but they are open to hiring other people then i would um, suggest that you focus on your healthcare part of the cv i hope this is clear guys make sure your cv is strictly um for the particular profession you are applying for and make sure it is not more than two years i mean two two pages guys make sure it is not more than two pages um focus on your achievements um include numbers where possible and um yeah guys there's a lot of videos i've done here you can just feel free to check them out but also if you need help with your cv you know your girl right here 
um, does that for a very minimal fee. So feel free to contact me on evamtali CV services at gmail.com. Evamtali CV services at gmail.com. I will also leave the same in the description box below. So moving on with our application for this international recruitment event in Canada, Prince Edward Island. Let's get moving. Oh, and if you're loving this video so far, please do make a point of giving it a thumbs up, leave a sweet comment below and to share the video as we move on. So right here, um, you're gonna click select and upload a file. I'm just gonna upload a random file here, but make sure it is your CV. And I would advise that um, include a cover letter in your CV, just put them on the same document. So I have uploaded um, the CV, but guys, make sure it is either in PDF or in um, Word format. I've put mine in RTF. I don't know if it's going to accept, but let's try. Yeah? And then here, you're supposed to click Save and Next to move on the general qualification questions. Guys, make sure that you have confirmed everything you have put here is correct and you're not going to change it before you uh, move to the next step. So I'm going to click on I Agree to the terms and then save and next it is saving um, the previous enter uh, things that have entered so it has saved so we are now in page one of one I'm supposed to enter please answer the following general specific questions what country um, let's just say I'm from Afghanistan what is your current um, country of residence so you can see it only giving you options of either UAE Canada or others. Let's try and see others. So if I say others, it's giving me um, uh, option to specify my country of residence. So let's say it is Afghanistan. Afghanistan, yeah. Okay. Are you willing to relocate to Prince Edward Island? Hell yes. <laughs> Otherwise, why am I here? And then do you have an active immigration application with the provincial territorial regional immigration programs other than the Prince Edward um, nomination program or Atlantic immigration program you can say yes or no so you can say I don't have an active one or no I do not have so if you say yes you know um, it's a plus but it doesn't take away anything from you if you say no so let's say no yeah and then you can see the age is between 18 to 59. So guys, don't come in the comment section and start asking me, Eva, I am 57. Can I apply? You can see clearly here that they are accepting anyone between the age of 18 to 59. So just say yes. And then here you can see professional experience. They're asking for English proficiency. Are you able to perform work tasks in the English language? Yes. So you will select whether it is expert intermediate or basic so let's say it is expert are you able to perform work tasks in the french language um you can say yes or no if you don't have also me i have french skills so i'll say yes are you interested in working full-time in prince edward island minimum 30 hours per week year round of course yes say yes um how many years of full-time work experience do you have that are directly related to the position you are applying to. Remember, I had said up there, I have caregiving experience for seven years. So I'm gonna say five plus years. What is your current position? I'll just say caregiver, yeah? So make sure that your current position matches what, it just a plus for you. What are your previous positions held? I'm just gonna die with this one caregiver <laughs> okay and then in terms of um, qualifications education testing and credentialing have you successfully completed at minimum a secondary school diploma that is high school yes you guys I always said please try and have at least a high school diploma it just makes relocation easier what is your highest education um let me see I have a master's you can pick whatever is here for you yeah how did you hear about this recruitment mission? So these are the, I wish they had a place for you to write other. Oh, great. Please specify. Yeah, so there's a, please cite, specify travel with Eva Mtali YouTube channel. Guys, with Eva Mtali YouTube channel. Or if you're watching me on TikTok, you can say Eva Mtali TikTok account. 
Okay. YouTube channel. Okay. And then if selected for an interview, will you be able to attend in person in Dubai in February 2024? You know what I would do here? Even if I'm not sure right now, I would still say yes because, guys, I'm shooting this video on 19th of December 2023. Who knows what could happen between today and 2024? So it's very unfortunate that some of us, actually most of us, have this poverty mindset we want to quote poverty so much scarcity mindset and you're like oh eva i don't even have a job now blah 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 remember this recruitment mission is targeting dubai so by saying no you are limiting your chances of even being considered or being ranked high up there and who knows what could happen between now and february and guys let me tell you if i was invited for a recruitment mission with a Canadian employer in Dubai. Guys, I would even borrow money to go. You know why? Because the greatest issue that most of us have is getting audience with a recruiter or with an employer in Canada who is willing to hire candidates from outside Canada. So imagine being given that opportunity to go and um, meet this employer face to face, guys. I would do anything to go and meet them. So I'm encouraging you guys, even if you don't have money today, you don't have a job today, say yes. And guess what? Sometimes your employer is the one who might not be able to make it to Canada, but because, sorry, to, to Dubai. But because you said yes, they're like, oh, this person was actually willing to come and meet me physically. I'm going to prioritize them. And they could still do for you an interview remotely. So guys, my advice for you, this section please say yes you lose nothing by saying yes but you might lose by saying no i hope this is helpful give the video a like <laughs> if you're enjoying and finding this video helpful so far so as we have agreed yes i'll be able to attend in person in dubai okay so save and next oh oh I didn't enter. Oh, okay. The number of uh, problems. So this is the beauty with this application. If you don't do something right, it warns you. Oh, okay. I didn't enter the years of experience. I thought I did five plus years. Okay. Good. Moving on. Save and next. Okay. So you can see here. After you have submitted, it shows, thank you for completing this registration. Your profile has been retained, and if an employer is interested, they may reach out to you directly. Please note that this profile is not an immigration application. Your profile may be shared with Prince Edward Island employers who are hiring within 2023. There is no guarantee of employment or immigration status. So guys, you have seen, it took us less than 10 minutes to go through that entire application process is very very simple guys so just make sure before you start you have your canadian style resume um very very specific to the job um group you are applying for so that you don't take as much time as i did and guys i am wishing you all the very best um do remember to give this video a like and share share you just never know who's destiny um, helper, connector, you may be. And guys, it's free to apply. You have nothing to lose. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. I love you.